This is Serena Williams displaying self-destructive behavior manifest through plastic surgery. In this video, we're gonna discuss what the hell is going on with her and what are the implications of this behavior. Stay tuned. For those of you that don't know, my name is TJ. I'm mixed Nigerian and British, and I moved from the UK to Uganda to start a new life with my partner, Medina. I decided to share my experiences thoughts and ideas on this channel. And one thing about Africa that I'm noticing is how the women are picking up the beauty standards of the West more and more. Here we have Serena Williams, a massively accomplished superstar. Some call her the greatest tennis player of all time, earned multi-millions of dollars, displaying what I can only call mental health issues. Because this type of departure from her natural look is striking. I mean, you can see the comparison. Was she ever gonna be a runway model? No, but she never had to be and never needed to gain that kind of validation. She's a winner in a way that people can only dream of. She's won life and she did not look bad in the first place. An athletic build is attractive to some people. Her accomplishments are attractive. This is someone that's been through the hours of practice and discipline that has created mental fortitude and resilience because this is the ultimate juxtaposition. What is this hole? What is this gap that she's trying to fill? I've lost some respect for her here. She's in her 40s, still trying to grasp onto some, to some fantasy sex symbol status of being 21. Why can't, you, why can't you go into the sunset with your millions and your husband and accept father time is undefeated? For me, this is mental health. This is an epidemic, something that people that are out of touch with reality go through people that have massive insecurities, pe people that put way too much value on superficial things. This is Mark Jacobs and his partner. Look at how warped and crazy they look. I would say this is a standard deviation more extreme than Serena. But I wonder, could Serena go this far? I mean, these guys look so grotesque, so unnatural. I wonder what kind of crushing insecurities and pain and depression do they have in their heart? for them to actually execute this level of plastic surgery. This is why I'm fearful for Serena's future. I genuinely am. Let me tell you who this situation has similarities with. Another goat, Michael Jackson, 16, 23. I mean, Serena doesn't even have the vitiligo thing to concern herself with here. So is this what we've got to look forward to for Serena in the next seven years when she turns 50? The dark part of this is this guy is not around anymore. Massive talent, massive success, nothing to prove the world. Yet he is unrecognizable from this, from this person. Tell me one person you know that does not think Michael Jackson was beautiful as a young person. And the same goes for Serena. You know, Michael Jackson had his father, much like Serena had her father. That, that kind of extreme lifestyle where you're, you're thrust into high achievement from a young age, you know, it has its costs. Child actors, child stars, Los Angeles, Hollywood. There's a lot of similarities here with things that don't go well long term. I mean, where's her father now? That's the kind of person that needs to take her and say, no, nah, this ain't it, Serena. It reminds me of Hunger Games where you had the capital city and those guys were just so overly done. They had first world problems. They couldn't relate to reality. They're living in a bubble. You know, it's hard for me. You know, it's, it's probably unfair for me to judge, but what's going on with this husband? You know, you just get the, the picture that he's not the kind of guy that can hold Serena accountable. It looks like Serena has chosen someone that she can walk all over. You can't surround yourself with people that will enable you, that help you self-destruct. I mean, Serena has a daughter. The kids absorb and observe. So what are we setting up here for the next generation? And what kind of example is this for black women? This is the blind leading the blind. Because so many women will look up to Serena. So many young women are falling into the trap of surgery, surgery, surgery. They need surgery for validation. They need surgery so they can be a baddie. 
So I had massive to Botox. I got my boobs done as well. They done a terrible job. One of them was being flat chested. Yeah, I just fixed it. I got hip filler done. I, I'm not saying forget surgery because obviously everyone should do what they want. I still really struggle with my insecurities and I haven't found a hack to get rid of any of that. You're still on your journey though. I'm still on my journey. These are, these are girls half the age or less of Serena and they're already fully indoctrinated in surgery culture. They're not thinking about the health considerations, all the regrets and stuff that people have had after surgery. Everyone's looking for fast, 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 now, now, now. Validation, validation, validation. Validation is supposed to come from achieving difficult things, accomplishing things, taking on responsibility. That's the hack. That's the hack. Finding a good relationship, partnering with someone. Life is not this glamorous journey. Even for those that have a glamorous life, you still have to contend with people, negotiate with people, raise a family, have interactions and relationships with real people. This may seem like nothing, but it is becoming a significant problem in our society. It's like blending in social media and plastic surgery and this stuff is like a drug, man. The only thing that I can think is that is a remedy to this is building stable families having a mother and father in the home, being able to be accountable and hold others accountable, leading by example. The worst thing about it is these girls are not even getting the outcomes they want. Like they may get short-term outcomes. I'll agree with that. But we've all seen this. I think that men prefer a natural body or a BBL. 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 Do you prefer a natural body or a BBL? Natural. 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 Natural body all day. A BBL basically optimizes to look like a sexual object. And sex sells. So you can make a lot of money that way. And you can make a lot of short-term relationships that way. But when the men are asked what they want, like who are they gonna marry? Who are they gonna spend the years of 30 to 80 with? Who are they gonna wanna stay connected to and keep in a relationship for the rest of their lives, raise their children with? Obviously it's the natural women. How many times have you heard a man say, I don't like too much makeup. I don't like weave. I don't like all these wigs. I mean, that's how I feel. And it may come across judgmental there's no winners here in this place. It's one of the reasons why right now I prefer Africa. If we overvalue the superficial, society is going to keep going down. As an individual, you're gonna end up like Serena, all the money in the world, but still manifesting deep insecurities. And as a society, we won't be able to achieve the things we wanna achieve. We'll be too busy distracting and destroying ourselves, unable to find meaning, unable to find substance, and searching for an ever greater high. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.